My brother, you're looking good. I gotta say, man, I love the shirt. What is that exactly, man? Uh, it's actually a Harley Davidson shirt um, from my hometown. Yeah, I love that, man. Very cool. I love the vibe on that, but more importantly, man, Boots and Hearts and you connected. You're performing there, man. How does it feel being back on that stage? Because we're talking one of the biggest country music stages you can be on anywhere in Canada. Yeah, man, I'm I'm very excited for it. Honestly, I feel like you know. Um, I got a million things going off here. What's going on? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like uh, it's going to be good to be back, man. I feel like we're all just kind of getting our legs underneath of us right now. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why my hotel room phone is just going off like crazy. Because right <laughs> you're a very wanted man, meaning, of course, music, performances, I'm interviews. Everybody wants you, man. That's the way it always works with you. Because, look, we've been talking for this last, what, um, year or so? And even during the pandemic, I mean, you were releasing music. You were, you know, you were doing a lot of stuff. And I feel like everything that you've done and all the positivity is, you know, cultivated into now being on one of the biggest stages that you can be on. Yeah, man, I feel like, you know, um, the downtime was great for me to just kind of recoup and, and, regroup and figure out um you know the next move and we've seen it you know going out and playing festivals across canada we've been on the road continuously and uh it's been good and and i'm very excited to get up to boots just because you know that's kind of the first show that we ever did was in 2000 i want to say 16 or 17 where we kind of had some momentum and we we got to see people singing our songs back to us in mass for the first time so i'm excited to do that again i remember that man i was there for that and it was it was an amazing thing to see when you think about what that was like then and what's going to be happening as we speak soon how do you think you've changed as a performer and even as a person yeah that's that's a good question um i definitely feel like i've been handed some doses of reality along the way um but if anything, it's, it's made us, you know, on our onstage presence and our ability to connect with an audience stronger. And uh, it's given us a better gauge of what works and what doesn't work. And uh, it's made me more appreciative, man. Like, you know, um, through the ups and downs of the last, not just the last two years, but the last four years, um, you know, there's high highs and low lows. And I feel like the longer I'm in this game, the longer I appreciate every second I get to spend on stage. Absolutely. Do we know what day and time you're performing? Because there are a lot of great performances happening. Yeah, so I'm on I'm on the Sunday, which is great because I've never seen Shania live, so I'm excited to you know play and then check her out. Um, and then we're on the secondary stage, um, and I believe we play at three thirty or four. So it's a it's a it's a fun slot. It's that like perfect afternoon slot where everybody's gearing up again. They're you know they're two or three beer deep, and they're just probably more than that. But I'm giving people the benefit of the doubt and uh, they're gonna go for it which is great oh you know they're gonna be <laughs> you know you know it's gonna happen man i like i said i've been there a thousand times gonna be there again on the weekend too so i i know that but um what's this show gonna be like uh just you know fast and dirty man like that's that's our goal is to just it's not a crazy long set i think we're playing uh 40 minutes, I think 35 or 40 minutes. So it's quick. Um, it's getting hard to do those, those short sets and kind of get everything that we want in. Um, but you know, we're just going to hammer out single after single, I guess, you know, you get to a point where it's like, you're looking at your streams and you're looking at your data and you're going, okay, well, there's, there's 10 songs we have to play. So here they are. It just, it kind of makes the choice for you. Now, is there a particular song, you know, that you have to perform or else they're going to burn the stage down? Uh, <laughs> I would say probably uh, there's probably a couple. Probably I needed that and uh, never landed on me. Probably would be the strongest. Maybe do it with you. I feel like we haven't we hadn't been playing that. We stopped playing it and then people started kind of lighting us up on Twitter, just being like, "Hey, why aren't you why aren't you playing this?" And it's a funny thing when you have a song that is relatively successful, but it might not be. Um, it doesn't feel like the identity of who you are now. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I think it's important to remember to, to play those songs and to kind of check yourself. It's like seeing Hootie and the Blowfish and they don't play their, their big song. You know what I mean? It's, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. If you, uh, as an artist, 
to kind of feel like you've grown past a song, but the fans love it. So you gotta you gotta keep it good for the fans. Anything in uh, anything new that you might drop in on us, a uh, surprise or anything like that? Uh, we're gonna be playing a couple. May I'm trying it, one song for sure off the new record that uh, came out in May. Uh, we'll be playing a song called Still Something, just because live it's been just a banger, man. Like it, it feels good. It just is high energy. I know Dallas uh, Smith's been out on the road and uh, he's been playing it as his like pre-show song. Like it plays to the arenas before they come out and you can see people just loving it. So I'm like, yeah, that's the one for us that we gotta, we gotta sneak in no matter what. What's happening after boots, man. Um, uh, more shows and uh, what's happening with CCMAs. Yeah. So more shows, you know, it, it just keeps rolling in, which is great. Um, I'm trying to think where we head after boots. My brain is on different times right now, but it, it's it's insanity, man. Until after um, after CCMAs, I think I know for sure. Um, I'm getting married just just right after boots, actually. So that yeah, and uh, that's been postponed. Feels like it just kept going and going, but we're finally going to be able to do it. Um, and then we're going to do a hometown headline show, which I have not done in. Man, I don't know, eight years. I think it's been since I, I've played a hometown headline show. Um, gonna gonna rip that. And then I, I have a driver that picks me up right after the show. Like, I walk off the stage. They're driving me to the airport in Toronto so I can get on a flight, make it to the CCMAs for a performance that we're doing uh, out in Calgary. And then got nominated again for Rising Star, which is, it's awesome. It's, 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 uh, it's mixed emotions, right? You I'm super grateful. I'm always thankful when people vote for me and I'm excited to see what happens this year. I feel like I got a, a strong chance um, just with where I'm sitting. But, uh, you know, you get, I'm, I'm 10 years deep, you know, so to be rising stars, it's just such a funny thing to me. Super appreciated, but uh, it feels strange. Um, but, you know, if that means that we're just getting started, then I'm, I'm a happy guy because it means that I get to do this for longer. So, And I'm happy for you too. Look, man, I'm not going to hold you up too much longer. Because I know you got a busy schedule. I just want to say congratulations. I cannot wait to hear and see you over at Boots. I won't be able to make it down to the CCMAs this year. I'm just avoiding any flying this this year. Uh-huh. Next you're, year, I'm going to. But Yeah, you're a smart man. This year, is a, <laughs> we've been stranded more than once, unfortunately. And uh, we just that's the way it is now. You fly the day before and you fly out the day after. It's just the way she goes. Yeah, I hear you, brother. Look, congratulations also on the upcoming nuptials. And I cannot wait to see you in person too, man. You have a great show and always, man, big love to you. Thanks, Rudy. Appreciate you, man, and uh, take care.